doing your fall cleanup in the spring, in the fall, <laughs> in December. It's December. It's a cold December. It's a cold January day. It's 64 in our greenhouse today, and it's 45 outside? Maybe. Okay. <laughs> this is Vicki, by the way. And hi, Vicki and Jamie here and again. Jamie's got the camera. We found a leaf footed bug. You'll see these overwintering. They overwinter in your leaves. We're putting leaves down in our greenhouse and some wood chips for the winter. And you'll see these leaf footed bugs. And you can tell the leaf footed bugs, of course, by the leaf footed pattern, the leaf imitation on their legs. They're all bad bugs. These leaf footed bugs emit a stink just like a stink bug. Same family family. They all will have these leaf footed patterns. There's a few different varieties. One has a stripe on his back. And they're going to overwinter and then come in hard in the spring hitting your vegetable crop early. I'm going to show a leaf while you're watching him of what it does to your leaves. Ouch! She's biting me! Just kidding. They don't bite. Too hard. <laughs> it's so funny. They pierce the leaves with their piercing mouth part and they make a, a wound, a bad spot. They inject their saliva and dry out the plant's juices. And this one has a big proboscis on the bottom that you can see. I'm to focus on that for you guys out there. And they lift it up, poke it right in your fruit. You can still eat the fruit, they don't inject anything toxic, but it makes these unsightly marks all over it and the, the fruit will usually rot or ripen a lot faster and of course they're not marketable so we have to get rid of these guys and diatomaceous since they have an R hard shell coating things don't diatomaceous earth and other things don't work so well dumping them in soapy water or releasing them elsewhere will uh, these have to be hand picked and I'll show you some babies here in a little bit These bugs will not bite, so handpicking is about your only alternative. You're going to find them hiding in wood piles, leaf piles, and trying to get in your home like the stink bugs do. They will not bite you, so handpick them and it will give your spring plants a better start. Here are the different stages of in stairs, and they'll form clusters, as you see here, different stages of development. At these stages, they cannot fly. They won't be able to fly until they're adults. But each adult can lay over 200 eggs in the springtime. So that's why handpicking when you see the adults on plant. The adults can fly away, so you got to be quick. Now, one of the cool things about the leaf-footed bug, which is a true bug, is they have the aggregating tendency. The different instair stages flock together for easily being removed and killed. Unfortunately, you got to kill them or get rid of them because they do transmit plant pathogens. So we can't have these transmitting diseases and destroying our vegetables. We work so hard to grow. I hope you enjoyed my information on leaf-footed bugs. I have so much information to share at Vicki's Garden Adventures and we can all learn and grow together. Thank you for your time. We left this video unedited. It's Riot. And I hope you enjoyed it as much as we did. So I hope you guys subscribe and please, please ask me any questions or tell me any stories. I'd love to hear from you. Thank you.